a good day saints um today our scripture reading we're getting it from the book of first corinthians chapter 2 from verse number 9 and we'll go on up until verse number 11. it reads as follows however as it is written no eye has seen no ear has heard no mind has conceived what god has prepared for those who love him but god's spirit but God has revealed it to us by his spirit. The spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. For who among men knows the thoughts of a man except the spirit of man within him? In the same way, no one knows the thoughts of God except the spirit of God. With this, what I'm trying to encourage you with is by saying that as you join the body of Christ and become a Christian, the only person that can identify who you are and who you are meant to be within the body of Christ is his spirit. And the more you involve him and the more you yield to him and the more you listen to him, the more he's able to give you your true identity within the body of Christ. And in such a way that when that happens, it becomes easier for you to navigate the Christian walk. And as you navigate the Christian walk, because he's the one that is to teach you who Christ is and who the Father is. The more he does that, the more the reflection of who you are and who you're supposed to be gets to be ignited in you. You find your positioning and your part within the body of Christ. And in that way, you become effective. Be it trials come your way, your true worship comes from that because you know who you are in Christ and the Holy Spirit enables you to show your true characters. It's more of when you think of worship. Worship is not necessarily just the lifting of hands. Sometimes worship is when you're going through what you're going through and you still praise God irregardless of. Take it like just like a fruit. A fruit endures all the seasons and it becomes mature. And when we're eating it and we're enjoying the pleasure that it gives to us as human beings, that's a way of it worshiping it. And in that way, it gives us nutrition. As it, it gives us nutrition, we are able to identify and praise God for the nutrition because it's giving us health. Now when you get into the body of Christ and you allow the Holy Spirit to process you and to take you through stages of your life and the pruning that you get is according to the book of John chapter 15, then when you become fruitful wherever you are, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be fruitful on Sundays only or when you have to, to lift your hands. And we have to consider the world as well that the Bible says, lift up your holy hands. For you to attain the level of holiness, it's only through the Spirit of the living God who enables you to remember when you're encountering different circumstances, different situations. With that, I'm trying to encourage you to say in your little space where nobody is watching, where there is no crowds to cheer you up in your prayer moments, God is watching because he's the rewarder of things that you do in secret. So don't get discouraged when people are not actually acknowledging your, 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 your prayer life, your worship life separately, because that's what you do on a daily basis, not just only on a Sunday. For you to have that endurance, you need the Spirit of God to become the oil that lubricates the challenges that you're having in life. So the grind doesn't become too costly to you. It's only through the spirit of the living God. And hence God says he is seeking for true worshipers. We're going to worship him in spirit and in truth. Even the order says the spirit so that the spirit is the one that can be able to make you understand the word of God. Because without him, the word becomes dry. Therefore, what I'm trying to, to, to bring up to you is to say, lean more on the spirit of the living God. With that having been said, let us pray. Father, I thank you that in the name of Jesus Christ, you are opening the eyes of your children and you are drawing them closer to you through your spirit. You've given us your spirit as a gift to us and we embrace him wholly so that he can reveal you to us so that we can be united in the spirit. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.